far corner of Beverly Hills, Leah Adler does what she's done each morning for 14 years. She sweeps the sidewalk in front of her restaurant. Watching her, you quickly learn Leah Adler throws herself into everything. If I know something is going to happen and I have time to plan it, I'm terrible. I sort of plunge into things in my life and see what happens. So far, it's worked. It worked with the kids, it worked with the restaurant. Would you believe there's not enough salt in this? Leah Adler doesn't consider herself a great cook. In fact, she'd never dreamed she'd start a business at a time when most of her friends were retiring. All that and she runs perhaps the finest kosher restaurant in town. To understand her success at this job, you need only to look at her first and favorite career, motherhood. Her daughters, Sue and Nancy and Anne, gave her a workout. But son Stephen, he was a handful. Steve wanted to make films out in the backyard or I'd take him out to the desert with his little friends. And I remember I had an outfit, a fatigue thing and a pith helmet. And I would, Steve would direct me, I'd drive him out in the desert, he'd say, okay, mom, now jump out of the Jeep and hide behind that saguaro tree. And what do I know? I mean, I love to play. I really love to play. Young Stephen grew up, but he still plays. Only now he's paid for it. This was one person who always knew his own mind. I learned very early on to go with him. And if Steve wanted something, he wanted it as badly as I want things. We have this great passion. Forget talking me out of anything or Steven Spielberg. So I joined him. I became his ally. I was his best friend. Either that or I was going to break his legs. <laughs> A sense of humor comes in handy when you're raising four children. And in the restaurant business, Leah Adler finds it's an asset. And if there's too much pepper, I'll tell you the cook did it. And if you, and if you love it, I'll tell you that I did it. Okay. It only looks as though this woman does everything. Tucked away in a closet-turned office, husband Bernie Adler quietly handles all the business. I mean, I always say he's got the brains, I got the mouth. So between the two of us, we do very well. But at the Milky Way, the show belongs to Leah. Even the walls are decorated with watercolors she's painted. Also, a few reminders that that son of hers has done pretty well, too. He still calls his mother for help, like the time he needed to name a mouse. The story is Steve called me one day and he said, what was Dada, Dada was my father, what was Dada's Jewish name? I said, Five. And he said, okay, bye. And that was the last I heard for a while. And that's what they named the mouse in the American tale. After the sweeping and before the lunch crowd arrives, Leah Adler takes a moment for herself. She plays some favorite music on a piano that Bernie gave her. As big a mouth of a, as I have, I can't play for people. That is the real soul of me, is music. If I feel well, which I usually do, I put the top down on the Jeep and I'm driving and the wind is blowing, I'm full. I'm inexpensive, you know, it does, <laughs> but that's free stuff. Only in Hollywood, I'm Peter Jones.